Hello friend, hope you're doing well. This is Soel from IT and Cybersecurity Career Simplified. If you don't know me, I'm a cybersecurity consultant with 10 years of experience in the industry. And this is the part one of a video series called how to get into IT and cybersecurity without any experience. Okay, in this episode, I'm going to talk about three major things that you need to consider before getting into IT and cybersecurity. Point number one, you have to be able to do self-study all the time. As you already know, IT and cybersecurity are changing rapidly each year. So it is really important for you to keep yourself updated all the time. And there are two ways to do that. One is to attend training and boot camps, and the second one is to do it on your own. So you know that attending training and boot camp all the time is not very an ideal situation because it's going to cost you money and time and there is no way for you to attend training and boot camps for each technology that comes throughout the year so the only option that you have left is doing self-study and for many people this is going to be very hard because they are not used to the idea of studying and learning some new technologies and topics every day or every week, few days a week. Yeah, because you know, if you are employed and working full time for a company, it's not possible for you to study all those new topics throughout the business hours. So what you need to do is to sacrifice a little bit of your personal time, especially after hours in the evening, to allocate some time and study those topics. So this is what I have been doing for the past 10 years. So for instance, in networking, as you can imagine, things have changed dramatically throughout the past few years so back in the old days networking was all about routing and switching and this stuff but nowadays they have added something called automation to it so automation is going to help companies to reduce their cost and time spent on tasks and it's going to help the engineers and consultants to spend their time on the things that are going to be most valuable than doing repetitive tasks so for me, I had to learn automation as part of my job description. I had to be updated all the time. When company asked me to automate some of the boring stuff in the network, I had to do it. And, and at first I had no idea what automation was. So what I did was to allocate some times after hours to practice and do some labs in order to learn that new technology. Point number two. So the key to success in IT and cybersecurity is patience and calmness. What I mean by that? So you know, you have no idea how many engineers and consultants I have seen throughout the past 10 years in my field that as soon as something happens like an incident or outage or cyber attacks, they all lost their focus and they got stressed and scared. And they are totally right. I also had the same situations back then, but you have to be able to adapt yourself in these situations and try to make yourself calm and focused and it, it's natural you're under a lot of pressure from the management and the company to fix the issue and outage as soon as possible but if you lose your focus and calmness in these situations i can guarantee you you won't be able to become successful in this field some people are going to disagree with me on this topic it and service security career in general is about providing value and services to the clients and to the customers especially when you're at the earliest stages for instance if you're a help desk technician or service desk engineer you're talking to people all the time you're trying to resolve their, their issues you need to solve their problems that is why communicating well with people is crucial skills that you need to have even if you don't have it you can practice and get better at it so this was the case for me as well so I had a lot of trouble communicating with people understanding their situation and, in, and issues with good communication and soft skills, you will be able to get promoted faster. You will be able to have a strong connections with other people in your career. So you can leverage those relationships later in your career and you can get other jobs or customers or clients. So yeah, to summarize, you have to consider that IT and cybersecurity career, it's all about providing value and services to the customers and clients. And there's going to be a lot of meeting involved when you're in this field. For me personally, IT and service security careers have provided me with a lot of good opportunities, good salary, a sense of purpose. It gave my life a meaning, like that I'm doing something good for the humankind by protecting people's assets and data. 
And the most important thing is that this career never gets boring because you get to learn a lot of new technologies and trends each year. Even though as part of my role, I had to sacrifice a lot of time with my family and miss birthday parties. But if I would go back in time again, I would definitely choose this career again. All right, friend, thank you for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Also, don't forget to download my free guide on how to get into IT and cybersecurity without any experience. In this guide, I try to share everything I learned throughout the past 10 years. So I can guarantee you that you will find something useful in that guide. Thank you. Bye.